Hey Blossom Gang, it's Chantel aka Shani Blossom and I'm back with another video. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to hit the thumbs up notification and also don't forget to comment in the comment section below if anything resonates with you or if you like anything that you see in this video um, and I hope it does bless you. So, pretty much somebody wrote in my um, comment section, they were like, hey, why don't you do like a video of like the the products that you normally use um after birth with your child um, or on yourself i think it was with my child but i included stuff that i use for myself as well um in this video um i don't have pictures for every single thing i wrote down a few things that i don't have the pictures for and then i also brought in a few things to show y'all things that i personally love and adore so pretty much one of the first things that I use in my daughter's room um, at her changing stable or any type of place where I need to wipe something down I purchased these dabble and I don't know if y'all can see this these dabble all-purpose wipes I don't know if y'all can see that but it's called dapple dapple baby d-a-p-p-l-e baby um all-purpose wipes they have no harsh chemical residues they're baby friendly and powered by plants um they're non-toxic pediatrician and dermatologist tested and hypoallergenic i use these in her room all the time um sometimes when i'm changing her she'll pee while i'm changing her or she'll have a poopy explosion and this helps get my changing table together and I also wipe down other things in her room with it so definitely get this I also have the dapple baby um, dish and liquid detergent um, I don't have that up here with me because it's downstairs but definitely get you those two products if you want like cleansing products that are safe for your baby and safe for your baby to be around I don't use regular cleaning products in her room just because I want to keep her safe um, another thing that I use for her that's downstairs that I do not have a picture of I use kind of like this drying rack for bottles um that have kind of like these little pointy things on it get that I don't know what it's called but please get that that helps out a lot with drying her stuff um, um and it dries very quickly on that um another thing I don't have up here that I use is a bottle warm a bottle warmer please get that because <laughs> she's gonna wake up soon to want a bottle I don't I'm trying to look at the time I can't see it but a bottle warm, warmer will definitely save you in the long run and I don't have pictures of that up here I guess I'll go ahead and get started with um, some stuff um, also so pretty much another thing that I use for a baby all the time are these burping cloths um you probably can't see it that well but i use burping cloths for her um after a feed babies spit up you know they do different things with the milk that they drink these are always handy to have um for your baby because um you can wipe up their mouth um and i use it for her mouth all the time so if you don't have these please get these like burping cloths um also i use baby washcloths and you probably can't see the pattern of these sorry guys but baby washcloths i use baby washcloths on her i just damp it a little bit with some lukewarm water and wipe her face down um or her little body down Another thing that I feel like is a great purchase are these actual zip up onesies. As y'all can see, not zip up, but button up onesies. They kind of open like this and you close them like this, like so. And sorry, it's white. I got these. These are actually from Simple Joys by Carter's. Please get you. I ha I think I have 10 of these. Matter of fact, 9 because she had a poopy explosion and it just messed up one. But get you some of these. These are a lifesaver, especially when I take her to the doctor and sometimes they want to weigh her without her clothes on. These help 
me get her in and out of them very very fast um i love them another thing that i like to use another article of clothing i like to use on her are swaddlers okay this is a pre-made swaddler or receiving blanket whichever one you want to call it a swaddler or receiving blanket this one has a pattern I put her in here and it helps with nighttime because it helps her know, hey, it's time for you to go to sleep. Now, does she always go to sleep? No. <laughs> no, she doesn't. I don't have it down packed like that. Um, but it does help. Um, I don't put her arms in it because my baby doesn't actually like her arms being like occluded or in like tight spaces she just doesn't like that some babies are like that they don't like their arms like tucked down um i use pampers i don't think y'all can see that pampers she's in the newborn stage now i'm just smelling them they smell so good pampers i know people say what whichever brand they use i just use pampers right now that's what i got from my registry and that's what i use for right now but pampers are usually pretty good they're working very well for us um and i like using them so just pick a good diaper brand that you love so i use those diapers and i also lately have been using water wipes even though i have different types of wipes and she will be using all the wipes that we have available because you go through diapers and wipes so much but you definitely need diapers and wipes if i were to say any item that you you would need somebody to purchase for you it would literally be diapers and wipes for sure like the other stuff that you get you can just purchase that you don't really need that much for a newborn or a baby but you definitely you need some diapers and wipes <laughs> you need this this is a necessity this is like i need that okay um, another thing, my baby has dry skin, so I use Aveeno Baby Eczema Therapy on her or any other type of Aveeno lotion, Aveeno. Aveeno lotion is really good for people who have skin conditions. I've used it prior to pregnancy, um, and it's definitely helped me out. So I would say get Aveeno lotion. That is some of the best lotion that you can get for yourself, also for your child. Another thing that I absolutely love are these Johnson Head to Toe Cleansing Cloths. And I don't think y'all can see it there we go oh 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 there we go the johnson head to toe cleansing cloths love them they're free of parabens fight fight the late sorry alcohol and dyes hyperallergenic no need to rinse you get 15 large cleansing cloths in a pack i think i had a pack of like five i'm running low a little bit but i have some packs still left i use these like the first few weeks of a baby's life you don't really need to give the baby like a bath every single day you just don't i might have given malia a bath two times so far she already had dry skin when i had her now she has even more dry skin so i try not to do too much to her skin um just try to moisturize it but these help a ton the first few days you just don't want to give your kid a bath you know when they have the stump on fortunately her stump is gone now but that is a lifesaver and definitely helps your child um also i have these little headphones for some reason we live by a concert hall not a concert hall but an outdoor concert pavilion and we live by a race car driving track thingy so basically like it gets, gets loud okay and so pretty much i purchased these little bands bands b-a-n-z bands headphones for her headphones for her so that we could basically drown out some noise and it definitely helped because they popped firecrackers one night and I was like seriously but yeah it definitely helped <laughs> so another thing that I have been really loving so far have been these little remedies I don't think 
little remedies pack um somebody said that this was essential and it it is <laughs> it's essential it has different things in here y'all it has um saline spray drops it has fever infant fever and pain reliever it has uh something called gripe water and it has like gas relief drops now what i've used so far have been the saline drops i don't think y'all can see that and i don't feel like taking out the pack i've used the saline drops on her so the saline drops you just drop it in and then they have a little nose drop or you get the boogies out her nose basically that helps right okay cool and then i've also used just today the gas relief drops because my baby was having gas and she wasn't pooping regularly and i need her to poop okay so uh i use those and so far so good so if you don't have this little thingy it definitely helps it has like um it's like a little variety pack Put this on your registry. Just put it on your registry, okay? It definitely helps. Um, I've been using a lot of different bottles, guys. I've, I've been using Komotomo bottles, Phillips Avent bottles, Dr. Brown's bottles, and some bottles that ain't even name brand, okay? My baby needs a slow flow nipple because with the slow flow nipple, she's able to drink responsibly <laughs> she's able to drink without having to how should i say she's able to drink her bottle without her bottle just putting milk back into you know accumulating in her throat and stuff you know we've been doing a great job so far but there when you're a first time parent you learn so much guys and so one of the things you're going to learn is what your baby likes and what you like as a parent and as a parent I'm going to be honest, this is this is the bottle that I like the most so far. I'm really loving the Philip Avid bottles. Now, I use the four-month-old bottles. These actually go to nine ounces. And the next thing I'm going to use are going to be these. These are actually the anti-colic ones I have not used. They help with gas um colic and reflux i might need to start using these jumps now so i haven't used these yet i'm trying to but they actually have like a two a level two nipple and i need a one nipple because i'm gonna tell y'all something she's not up to this size i just brought philip advent out here so she's not necessarily using these bottles she's using the smaller four ounce bottles because she's only eating about three ounces in a bottle and then i breastfeed as well um but the philip advent bottles are so good guys please get those please get the philip advent bottles those bottles are the best um and i really truly love them my battery's about to give out so if i have to i have to just record on my phone guys so if it goes out we're gonna record on my phone philip advent are my favorite the como tomo they used to be my favorite but they're not my favorite anymore um so now we're gonna switch those are the essentials for baby like that i use all of the time also it was using hand mittens but we stopped doing that so far she does really good. She don't really need them all the time now. But those are my favorites. And then um, I'm going to add in some things that um, I don't have pictures for. I don't have them right on hand with me. So we use a bassinet for sleeping in our room at night. So if you don't have a bassinet, I would suggest getting a bassinet for your baby to sleep in at night. She doesn't like going in it unless it's actual time for bed. bed. She doesn't like going in it during the day. But definitely get a bassinet for your baby um we also use sounds like the shushing sound or the womb sound or the bird sound or the white noise sound rain sounds as well because she likes the sound of water 
um, on either your phone or a device. I have three different ways to produce sound for her. One way is through my phone. Another way she has a little elephant that has sounds and stories and songs on it. And then she has a turtle that has a night light that has sounds and stories and music on it as well. So we have three devices yeah, like that. And I have my phone to finish the video. So basically um, some more things that I don't have a picture of that I use for baby definitely a changing table is a lifesaver it helps with changing the baby you don't have to change them on like your soft surfaces like your bed and stuff because babies are going to make messes Malia has definitely had poopy explosions definitely has peed after I have took the diaper off and peed on the changing table so you want to have a, a station where you can just change her and if she messes it up it's fine you can easily wipe it up and get it together also the diaper genie y'all have seen that in her nursery get that because that is very helpful with stinky poopy diapers i don't smell anything from the poopy diapers that we have from malia so just go ahead and get that um and i'm trying to think of anything else that we might have for her um i think that's about it when it comes to baby um oh also no not no i forgot <laughs> two things two more <coughs> excuse me <coughs> two more things a diaper bag always have a diaper bag ready and available if you go somewhere nowadays we don't really go too many places with her unless it's her doctor's office really um so a diaper bag and then i'm about to show y'all um something else that is helpful I find helpful. A lot of people might not, might think I'm overboard, but I don't think I'm overboard. Uh-oh. I'm checking to see if she's up. This thing right here is an air purifier. This is so helpful. It purifies our air, and I use it also in her room to get her air in her room to be pure. Um, I know that's her bassinet over there. Some people say, oh, that's too much. But I like baby to breathe in pure good air okay you just want that for your child i want that for my child i don't know about y'all y'all don't have to do that but i just do so now i'm gonna get on to some things that i use for myself postpartum um so one of the things that i use postpartum um has been a nursing bra get you a nursing bra this one clicks um I'm trying to find a little clicker it clicks and then you click it in and click it off and you can just have, you know, something readily available for your child when they're ready to nurse if you do breastfeed. Um, or if you don't breastfeed and you do um, express breast milk, you can get a um, nursing bra. I don't have one of those. Um, another thing that I use a lot, I'm almost done, Pookie. Another thing that I use a lot um, after giving birth was the always maxi pads um, and there for overnight I use these when I have my regular period I like the ones with the wings get the orange pack you're gonna bleed you're gonna have different things after you give birth to your baby if you give birth vaginally I don't know how it works c-section wise I think you still do bleed too oh she's about to cry <laughs> Um, so I think she does. Also, when I was in the hospital, I used these Always Z's. Um, they're kind of like little Depends diapers, and you don't have to have panties, um, for a few days. They only have seven in a pack, which I think is a ripoff, because you pay a lot of money for it. I think it's a ripoff that only have seven in a pack, but I use those in the hospital because the little pads and little underwear that they give you at the hospital is very thin and the stuff falls out and it don't stick and it just kind of just is the so you really just don't really it's not really conventional um another thing that i use religiously i still use it because i'm only two weeks postpartum going on three weeks this squirt bottle i got this from the hospital i know a lot of women use the frida mom one that's pink and it kind of like goes like this i use this just fine i I, ha I bought the freedom mom one and i don't even use the freedom mom one i have two of these 
one for upstairs, one for downstairs. I put warm water in this and this helps a lot to cleanse yourself after you use the bathroom. I bought a ear and forehead thermometer. I like to check my temperature and make sure you're not having a fever after you give birth postpartum because there's a lot of different things that can happen postpartum. Um, so just be on the lookout of trying to take care of yourself. It's difficult. I've gone through so much, especially even after like the first week. Like I felt terrible. You know, there's so many things that you just go through. I have a whole video on that, but just make sure you're monitoring yourself. And while we're along those lines, I bought me, a, uh, sorry, I don't know why I cut it on, uh, <laughs> a blood pressure cuff. You need to check your blood pressure, moms out there, while you're, after you give birth, because um, postpartum preeclampsia is a thing. I don't want it. I don't wish it on anybody, but just make sure you're taking your temps. Make sure you're checking out your bodily functions and making sure that you're okay. And I'm going to show y'all two other products that I use. Let me get, let my husband come on his side to bed because I done jam bun rushed his side of the bed to put all this stuff on. <laughs> A bunch of bum rush just out of the bed, y'all. <laughs> I gotta get these videos in at night when Malia is asleep. Cause, and then I felt like doing the videos actually, because I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I'm probably gonna cut this part and put it at the end, but I'm gonna be honest with y'all, doing the videos is a lot of work and it's a lot of energy and takes a lot of time and I, that's a lot of time I don't have because <laughs> I have to tend to her, you know, majority of the time and not not complaining, but just saying it's a lot. Anyway, let me get back to the video. So these are two other products that I use. Tux. They're going to give you this at the hospital. Use it. They are great. They give you this other thingy that's long. I don't use, I didn't like that. But I did like the tux. I stopped using it at one point, but I have been since going back using it. It's basically witch hazel and it feels really great. Now this, I never stopped using. Dermoplast for pain, burn, and itch. Use this. I use this every single time I go to the bathroom and also, I'm going to show y'all these wipes that I, I showed y'all the wipes that I've been using for my daughter. If you're a first time mom, you're going to have to, you're going to have to poop after you give birth. Now, luckily I took stool softness for the first few days. So my poop just came right on out, but I have experienced like a hard stool. It's no fun. But when you have to cleanse down there, I don't like using regular tissue or didn't like using regular tissue, I use these some of these water wipes for my daughter. <laughs> Please, this is going to help you just feel better down there. And I might start using water wipes or wipes down there in general after I poo because it just feels better. It just does. I didn't re realize until then. So basically, those are all the things that I use um, for myself and for um, Malia, um, hopefully that helps somebody out with like essential items that I use like majority of the time. I'm about to put all this stuff back. It's almost 12 at night. She's going to wake up soon to eat <laughs> soon. So me getting sleeping while she sleeps, excuse me, sleeping while she's sleeping has Sorry, has not happened, but we're gonna put all this stuff back, get ourselves back organized. I'm gonna spend a little bit of time with my husband a little bit. I don't know how he's feeling. I'm gonna spend a little time with him. And then I'm going to bed, but I am thankful that I did jump on here and give y'all this video. It was requested. Glad to do it for somebody who's gonna help. Like I said, you said you still want to do that video with me about for first time parents, right? Yeah. We're going to do a video for first time parents about our experience and stuff. Okay. 
Um, and so we're going to do that. So I hope that y'all enjoy it. Talk to y'all later. Bye.